Okay, here we have our cam and follower, and the cam and follower, we have a follower arm that's going vertical, and we have the cam, and on the follower arm, there is a small roller that will follow the edge of the cam. So when we turn the cam, the follower is going to follow that edge. And right now, my mechanism is going slow because I have a worm and wheel on the back. So normally when you turn this, it will turn much faster, but I have two mechanisms going together. So when you turn your cam, What's happening is we have a rotary motion. This is our input. We have a rotary motion and we have a reciprocating motion of the follower going up and down when it hits the spot of the cam and drops. We have a constant of torque and speed. So as fast as this is going around, this is going to rise up and down. So we're not going to increase the speed or increase torque in this mechanism. We're just simply lifting the arm up and this arm down. So this can only be used in this configuration. We can't put this arm going sideways or underneath. It has to use gravity to pull it back down. The angle of input shaft is parallel to the output shaft. So we only have one input shaft here and then the output would be going through maybe one of these holes. So they would be going the same way. We have a flow of power is not reversible because if we turn this going this way, eventually we'll hit this part of the cam that's going up and down which will stop the mechanism. So it can only go one way uh, that's for the um, direction of power reversible. The flow of power is not reversible because we can't push this arm down and make the cam turn. So we can only turn our crank one way and the cam can only go one way and also we can only turn the cam to raise the follower. We can't push the follower down to turn the cam.